Many thought that the Škoda Slavia and the Volkswagen Virtus will be identical twins, just like the Vento and the Rapid, but all of them were proven to be so wrong. Yes, they are based on the same platform and even share the engines, but apart from that, they promise to deliver a very different experience, thanks to their different personalities. In fact, without even driving the Volkswagen Virtus, we found 11 things that it does differently as compared to the Škoda Slavia. Both these cars use the same MQB A0 iron platform and in terms of size too, they are almost identical. But these twins are anything but similar looking. Where the Slavia's face is more like a matured brother who seems to be well groomed with a fat moustache. The Virtus on the other hand looks more sporty and generally more young thanks to the sharper features. In fact, the Virtus takes a lot of cues from its elderly family members. The grille, the sharply cut headlamps and even the gloss black on the bumper looks premium and sporty. Even from the rear, it looks like a mini Jetta. Overall, the Volkswagen Virtus, as compared to the twin brother, has more of a standout personality. The Virtus also seems to offer more to people who don't really need many frills and want to buy the base variant. Unlike the Slavia, the Virtus right from the base variant gets LED headlamps, larger 16-inch wheels and a 8-speaker sound system. On the flip side, in the top variant of the Slavia, you not only get 8-speaker sound system, you also get a separate subwoofer unlike in the Virtus. Like the exterior, the interior of the Virtus too looks different. Obviously, in terms of seating comfort and space, it is exactly the same. But the dash is almost completely different to that of the Slavia's. Where the Volkswagen's dash looks more sporty thanks to the straighter lines and flatter surfaces, the Slavia's dash looks more elegant. What this also does is give both these brothers different personalities. There is one more place where these two differ on the inside. Fit and finish of the dashboard. Where the Virtus just feels more consistent like a well-organized brother, the Slavia on the other hand tries harder to impress you by adding some edgy panels on the dashboard, which just doesn't fit well in the cabin. In fact, they start creaking even if you apply a little bit of pressure on them. They just feel a little brittle. There are no such issues in the Virtus where thanks to the simple layout, VW were able to deliver a more consistent result. Slavia is a Škoda and Škodas always have some simply clever features which make your everyday drive experience that much easier. So in the Slavia for the rear passengers, you get a dedicated phone pocket, a clip on the windscreen to hold toll receipts, elastic strings in the door pocket to hold documents and a place on top of the dash to place an idle, which you won't see in the Virtus. If you buy the Slavia, be it the slow 1 litre or the faster 1.5 litre petrol, there's no way your neighbours can tell which one you have bought. They are identical inside out and even the features list is the same. The Virtus, however, is different. Unlike the 1 litre dynamic line, the 1.5 performance line looks decked up and ready to rock a party. So in the faster GT variant, you get blacked out wheels, mirrors, roof, and just if you miss those elements, you also get GT badging on the grille, boot, front fenders and you also get red painted brake calipers. There are differences on the inside as well. So in the GT variant, you get black leather upholstery, aluminium inserts on the pedals and if you buy the Virtus GT in red, you also get colour matching red dash panels. Not only that, the ambient lighting too is red and the digital instrument cluster has a red theme. Now, this is something we can't really confirm till we drive the Virtus, but going by our past experience with the Kushak and the Tygon, we expect the VW to have a sportier drive experience. We expect Virtus to trade a bit of ride comfort for better dynamics, which should make a lot of Polo GT owners very happy. Do you want the Virtus to offer better ride or a sportier drive experience? Do let us know in the comment section below. 
Now, Škoda is offering the 1.5 only in the top style variant of the Slavia, which doesn't really make it a lot affordable. But just like in the Tiguan, we expect a low variant of the fast 1.5 Virtus, which should make it a lot more affordable. The shade yellow was the signature color of the original Octavia RS. Now, the Slavia doesn't get it, but the Virtus does. The Virtus not only looks more sporty, it also gets snazzier colors like the yellow color that you get in the Tiguan. For all these standard features like the LED headlamps, 8-speaker sound system and larger 16-inch wheels, you might have to pay a little extra price. We expect the Virtus to start at a slightly higher asking price as compared to the Slavia. We expect the Virtus to be priced in between Rs 12 to Rs 21 lakh rupees on road. What do you think about these two cars? Do let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.